what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i bring you well i'm actually going to cover bungie's weekly update where they talk about some interesting points in terms of the new curse of all Souls streams coming soon major change to faction rallies and new loot added but before we go any further guys do you want to win some epic loot i have exclusive emblem and spiral codes gift cards and much much more to win some simply drop a like on this video leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description okay so there will be three streams within november all on the curse of osiris stream one will be about the new stories to tell this stream will come on wednesday november 15th at 11 a.m pacific time here we will learn about the places we will go the characters we will meet and the enemies we will fight stream two is called new ways to play this stream comes on Tuesday, November 21st at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Here we will see some of the new activities which will challenge us and our fire teams. Stream 3 will be about the new gear we can earn. This will come on Wednesday, November 23rd at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Here we will inspect the new inventories and see it all in action on a brand new crucible map. So three great streams coming this month, so mark them in your calendars. They then go on to talk about the changes being made to the faction rallies in order for us to feel like more activities are a little more rewarding. The newest faction rally event will start on November 7th and run through until November 13th. Strikes now reward faction tokens at a range of 5 to 9 per completion, up from 3 to 7. Nightfall now rewards 10 to 18 faction tokens and first completion per character. Completing heroic public events now rewards 5 faction tokens and it was 8. Destroying enemy resources no longer reward faction tokens, so no more grinding them lost sectors. Opening lost sector chests now rewards three faction tokens for each fire team member. They state strikes should feel more worthy of your time you invest in them. We noticed that players felt lost sectors were useful, but disliked the fact they couldn't enjoy them with a fire team, so we moved the faction tokens from the destructible items to the chest at the end of that activity. The destructibles will still be featured as a daily milestone and are still available to help your fire teams clear out the lost sector, but that is about it. In addition to these changes, they have also added new weapons for us to obtain from the faction we choose. These have been added to the packages from the corresponding factions. As we also know, the winning faction and the people who represent that faction get to purchase one specific weapon only available if that faction is the winner of the faction rally event. This weapon will cost you 1000 glimmer if you are represented by that faction. Anyone who isn't represented by that faction can purchase this weapon but it will cost you 50,000 glimmer which is crazy. New Monkey this time will offer a sword, Dead Orbit will offer a grenade launcher and Future Walker will offer a fusion rifle. So a few changes coming and being made to the faction rally event which in my opinion will make it a better experience altogether. But yes guys mark your calendars if you're interested in the Curse of Osiris because there's three streams coming this month. And that is basically it guys for the weekly update. If you want to read through all you can you'll find it linked within the video description. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so leaving a like really does help me out and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.